thousand days. <sighs> Should we have tea instead? Like my throat is kind of fucked up still. A thousand days. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly how long I managed to stay without getting the Made in China virus. So between when it was announced a pandemic, and that of course being 11th of March 2020, and the Finnish Independence Day 6th of December this year, and on that evening I started getting sick. Yeah, a thousand days. <laughs> it doesn't mean shit that it's an even number, it's, it's just a fun thing. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome back to the last episode of Coffee and EDC of 2022. If you're new around here, well, I'm glad to have you over. My name is Andreas and on this channel we talk all things EDC, meaning everyday carry. So that equals to the junk you have in your pockets and everything you carry with you. Plus also we're discussing photography and filmmaking. If you haven't checked the calendar yet, perhaps you should as Christmas is approaching and hence the Tom Teluva. And by this time you're already in a hurry on what to get for yourself for Christmas. Yeah, because you've earned it. Or then better yet, uh, just send this video to your wife or girlfriend so they may get an idea of what to get you. So ladies, if your man sent you this video, he wants you to pay attention. So first off, will be a flashlight. Yeah. And don't tell me you already have a light on your phone, it's basically useless. Having a real flashlight is just a step up that's worth every penny, every single day. Now, when buying a flashlight for everyday carry purposes, you should think about a few things. Personally, I prioritize a true compact size. If it's just too large, you probably won't be carrying with you at all times. So a small size isn't necessarily bad. And a uh, nice thing being that with modern day lights, they pack an immense amount of punch for their size. This one here's the Raylite Pineapple Mini and I don't know why it's named Pineapple though. Cool name nonetheless. <laughs> it's in a titanium finish and matches perfectly with the big idea pen I'm carrying. As with all small lights out there regardless of brand, the highest intensity will only be available for a few minutes and uh, when you're looking at them, comparing them, and a medium intensity is probably closer to the ground truth of the performance. But when you're outside doing outside stuff, and you really want to see, is it a lynx that's up there in the tree? Yeah, then it sure is nice to have this like high power output option. There's an entire separate video coming about only on this light alone in the future, as there's so much to it. But basically, you have the option to set which intensities you want available when you turn it on here from the rear cap. Energy saving dad? Sure, use the low power options. Doing burnouts in the driveway whilst blasting motorhead? Use the high intensity and strobe. <laughs> For transparency, this light was sent to me by mukama.com. However, I'm not paid to do this. I'm out of my own interest choosing to support Mukama, as it's an awesome online store with truly cool brands that otherwise wouldn't be available to purchase here in Finland. Second up will not be pocket knives, as basically pocket knives should be a no-brainer at this point. If you need ideas, no affiliation here, but Benchmade, CVV, Spyderco, James brand... <sighs> Continuing on the list to the true second. A water bottle and a travel mug for coffee. Now, coffee is something you should take with you wherever you go. Now, that's why you're watching this series, Coffee and EDC. Now, where I live, I have a half hour drive to work and you can bet your ass on, I'm drinking my own coffee during that commute as there ain't no Starbucks or Tim Hortons around here. A good travel mug is essential. And compared to the cheap ones, this will actually keep your coffee not lukewarm, but hot. This right here has been in my use for a better part of a year now and uh, it's getting the job done just perfectly. Conveniently sized and easy to rinse and every now and then I just throw it in the dishwasher. Though I have no idea if it's safe to do so. Nonetheless. <laughs> and with dehydrating coffee, you need to rehydrate. So water bottle. Camelback, which actually produces both of these, has a wide variety of water bottles. The reason I chose this is mainly that regardless of how drip proof any brand out there promises that those sport caps are, they will never be as secure as a true screw on a cap. This one you can throw inside your camera bag and be assured it won't spill. <laughs> I mean, 
don't play with fire, but you get the point. A tip is to keep your water bottle dedicated to only water. This way when you're not having coffee or soda or anything in a, else in it, uh, the water you're having there is just that uh, it's gonna taste fresh all the time. I have never ever stored anything here besides clean fresh water. Tip number three, a good pair of working gloves together with a carabiner. What you might have missed is that a lot of gloves actually have small loops here inside of them. And with a carabiner, this entirety becomes a cool accessory. Hold on. And with a backpack you can just put it there. And thus your gloves are just like that easily available. Assuming you have your backpack with you. Two awesome options for gloves are the mechanic gloves here, available nowadays pretty much anywhere in sporting goods stores and available in a wide variety of colors. And then my new favorite, Milwaukee. Now these you might find in a whatever hardware store that retails Milwaukee stuff. A bonus tip is an EDC organizer and wow, breaking news, I admit that I don't have this thing, but this might be just the best thing ever. Some are already out there and some will be available. Unsurprise, mukama.com. The organizers Holmes and Hadfield produce are made out of wood and have different display cover options here as you can see for challenge coins for display and on this you can showcase your knives and the images speak for themselves. And that wraps it up for the Christmas gift guide of 2022. Let me know in the comments, did you get an idea of what to get or was there anything that should have been on the list but didn't make it? If you enjoyed it this far, hit the thumbs up button to like this video, it really helps out this channel. And subscribe for more coffee and EDC. Thanks for riding fences with me today and I'll catch you next time. See ya.